Hi, you guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have a, another Bloomsy box to show you guys. This one is for November. Do you want to see what's in my box? Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I just received this in the mail. They did send me this for you. So thank you so much, Bloomsy Box, for sending me your amazing flower box. I cannot wait to see what is inside of this one. If you guys did miss my other unboxing, because I have shown this one before, this is a fresh flower arrangement, you guys. I'm super, super excited to dive in and see. Let's go ahead and cut the tape. Let's get in here and see which flowers we're going to have. I love this because it's also, they go with like the seasonal colors and themes as well. So I can't wait to see what is going to be in here. Now, the way that they design their box is like this. <laughs> it has everything down inside. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. So it does have the bottom protected. It is actually zip tied to the box itself and everything is all inside here, ready just to go right into water. So let me go ahead and cut this off. Now it's free. <laughs> it says, oh, happy day on this part. And now, ooh, these are more like winter. Oh my gosh. I'm even so excited. I'm even more excited now because I'm actually taking down all my fall and I'm putting up Christmas. Yes, I know might be early, but I know I'm not the only one out there. I just love the seasons and I love decorating for the seasons, but when that season is over or I'm done with that season, I, I'm done. <laughs> like, I don't want to see any more fall. I already want to take this down behind me, but we're not even to Thanksgiving yet. So let me show you. There's pine cones in here too. That's why I got really excited. This is like a winter berry. Oh my gosh arrangement it is so beautiful oh my gosh and they even protect the stems when they tighten this tightly so your stems are not even going they're not going to see any damage or anything like that ways to style and it says enjoy your beautiful flowers have fun styling your bouquet by using different types of vessels and arrangements and this is on recycled paper and it does say low bowl a trumpet vase or a bubble bowl and it tells you like how to design them in different styles so that's really cool I used to own a flower shop so <laughs> I know a thing or two about flowers so don't worry I'll know how to style it in my vase <laughs> but oh my gosh these are beautiful so there's some red roses there's these like blue wispy looking things that I don't recall ever seeing and that's amazing. It looks like these little blue like spider. I don't know what in the world these are, but they are super pretty. And let's see, we have some snapdragons, more red roses all through there. You got these little like berries. That's why I said it's like a winter berry arrangement. There's some of these pink flowers and then the pine cones. Holy moly, this is gorgeous, you guys. So, so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in a vase and I'm going to now be enjoying these beautiful flowers. And I'm so glad that they're transitioning to the winter, <laughs> not fall. I was thinking since this is, you know, November has Thanksgiving, I thought we were going to get more Thanksgiving colors and I'm super, super excited that I didn't. So, Thank you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put water. We're going to chop these ends and get them in fresh water. Yes, yeah, see, that's my project after I'm done filming. I'm taking all of that fall down because <laughs> I need the rest of it down. But let's go ahead and get water and the food. So the way I do it, I just stick the food in it first. So when I pour the water in, it kind of like helps mix the stuff up together. It does form a little bit of bubbles, but that's okay. So again, here are our beautiful flowers. Let me get a little knife. Okay, so when I do in my generally 
just pull out all the greens first and I shove all the greenery inside the vase and then I go through and add the flowers. When I do it, I cut it at an angle. I do have a better knife, but I didn't bring that in here, of course. And this is like, there's like actually a lot on the stem of these guys. Those are so pretty. Okay. And when you do this, you can literally just cut the stems and just stick them all together the way that they were. But since I come from the floral industry, I always like to rearrange all my flowers. So now I'm gonna add my tall ones. So my snapdragons will be the tallest. Now I'm gonna add my roses. And be careful because there are some thorns. <laughs> so don't cut yourself. There's a lot of roses in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven red roses. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these little pink flowers. Now the little berries. And then there's these two stems of these. And then we have two pine cones. And then the other pine cone. All right, so I cleaned up my mess and there we have it, you guys. So there is the complete arrangement in my vase. What do you think? All right, you guys, so that is the gorgeous arrangement sitting beautifully. Now I get to enjoy beautiful flowers. Here is the arrangement several days later. It is looking absolutely beautiful. These have opened up bigger. These little pink guys here have gotten bigger. The roses are starting to open up. The snapdragons are looking beautiful. Everything is doing so well. So I wanted to show you the difference between this and how it's looking right now, so gorgeous versus an arrangement that came from a floral delivery shop, a local florist. So again, these are cut directly from the grower and delivered straight to you within a couple days. So they are extremely, extremely fresh versus, okay. So this flower arrangement right here was sent to me for my birthday by one of my best friends and I greatly do appreciate it. I know she spent a lot of money on this because <laughs> I know how much floral delivery bouquets are. So I know she spent a lot of money, especially with a balloon and the delivery fees and all of that. Now, the only problem is these are from a local floral shop. So the local flower shop gets them from their supplier who gets them either from a larger supplier or they get them from the market, which they're brought to the market. So. The flowers actually travel a lot before it goes into an actual flower shop. I know I used to own one. When it was very busy days, I would go down and get them myself from the LA Flower Mart. But other than that, I would buy them from my local supplier. They would deliver them to me. And that's just how a lot of people do them. So I know for a fact the flowers are not 100% fresh. Then they sit at the flower shop in their cooler for however long until they actually make the arrangement and they ship it out. So this arrangement I received two days before this one. And in two days, all my roses are dead. The delphinium isn't looking too, too hot down here. This one up here looks okay. Even the little filler flowers are dead. My daisies, you guys, daisies should last the longest. And that's literally two days before receiving these. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference because I happen to have my flowers sitting here for my birthday and these that they just delivered so I can actually show you guys the difference between 
fresh farm picked due to your door versus using a local floral shop. If you use this type of a company where it comes straight from the grower, they're gonna last a lot longer and they're gonna be fresher and they're gonna be able to enjoy them a lot longer. So I wanted to show you guys, like I said, since I had both of them sitting here and I can show you the comparison between the two. So I wanted to show you how fresh these are. I am loving these fresh flowers, you guys. I can't get enough of fresh flowers. If you want to know a little bit more about Bloomsy Box, you can use my code SHECRAFTY12. The last time was just SHECRAFTY for 10% off. They've upped that for you guys, which I greatly appreciate. Now it's SHECRAFTY12 and you get to save 12% off. I will link them down below. You can follow that link and go check them out. They have different subscriptions to choose from. You get to experience the joy of farm to vase flowers. Our bouquets arrive within 72 hours of being picked at our sustainable farms, making for the ultimate in freshness, the perfect gift for yourself or somebody special. So even if you wanted to send a little hello or a pick me up or a certain occasion, you wanted to send somebody flowers, you can do a one-time box of these. They arrive within 72 hours of being picked. It's going to be the freshest flowers that you or they will receive. And I really do like that. I mean, there's so many different delivery floral services out there and they charge an arm and a leg and I just think this way is a better way to get something fresh it's all current it's with the season with the colors of the season for that particular season and I just love that they're completely fresh from the grower to your door and the way that they arrive they're beautiful so they have a Bloomsy original which is $39.99 a month I don't know which one this is because it doesn't say which style it is, but there's a Bloomsy Original for $39.99. There's the Bloomsy Deluxe for $49.99. And then there's the Bloomsy Premium for $54.99. And then they also have a Bloomsy Roses. That one's $44.99. So there's several different ones to choose from based on the size or the type of flowers you would like. They also have a Bloomsy bi-weekly, which is $49.99 and you receive it bi-weekly. So every other week, twice a month. And then the Bloomsy weekly is $44.99. So again, you can order them for yourself or you can order them for a gift. Either way, you get gorgeous, beautiful, fresh flowers delivered. Again, everything will be linked below. She Crafty 12 will get you that 12% off at checkout. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this. Thank you again, Bloomsy, for sending me your amazing flowers. And I'm so excited for the ones that they are and that they're more going into the winter flowers. So that's awesome. So that's everything, you guys. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what did you think of this arrangement? What did you think of the flowers and the colors and the theme of it? Comment down below. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew, out.